Plants in their natural habitat must continuously defend themselves against a number of biotic and abiotic stresses including pathogen invasion, high temperature, exposure to the heavy metals, ultraviolet radiation, cold, salinity and hydric stresses. During plant pathogen interaction, cross-linking biochemical reaction takes place between plant and pathogen. The initial reaction occurs when pathogen is in contact with plant surface and it starts to secrete some non-protein and protein effectors called pathogen associated molecular patterns. Pathogen invasion is successful when pathogen associated molecular patterns are translocated into host suppressing the plant's immune system easing the penetration and establishment of pathogen. Under this situation, plants activate a complex network of signaling pathways that lead to the hypersensitive reaction or systemic acquired resistance. Hypersensitive reaction activation involves metabolism alterations such as lignification, suburization, callose deposition, changes in ion fluxes and lipid peroxidation. Hypersensitive reaction also involves the activation of programmed cell death often accompanied by an oxidative burst generating free radical accumulation. This rapid incompatible response induces also the accumulation of phytoalexins and synthesis of pathogenesis related proteins. Systemic acquired resistance activation is a defense mechanism often activated by the whole plants in response to a local pathogen attack followed by changes in gene expression commonly called as systemic acquired resistance genes. Other signaling molecules such as salicylic acid, jasmonic acid and ethylene functions in pathogen defense signaling pathways. So, oxidative burst is nothing but the production of oxygen and hydrogen peroxide are known to be involved in plant defense mechanism as well as in plant growth and development processes and response to abiotic stress. Plant cells produce harmful reactive oxygen species such as hydrogen peroxide, singlet oxygen, the superoxide anion, the hydroxyl radical as their byproducts of their normal metabolism. Reactive oxygen species generation during oxidative burst is associated with the pathogen recognition related to the perception of pathogen associated molecular patterns. During plant pathogen interaction, the pathogen associated molecular patterns perception allows a series of signaling events as ion fluxes, MEPK's activation, transcriptional reprogramming, callous deposition, lignification, and reactive oxygen species production. Accumulation of reactive oxygen species has been proposed as earliest events induced during plant pathogen interaction which controls and inhibits the pathogen growth. Additionally, some cell compartments such as chloroplast, mitochondria, and peroxisomes are potential important source of reactive oxygen species during abiotic and biotic responses. Now let us know other part of the topic, phenolics. The term phenol and polyphenol can be defined chemically as substance that possesses an aromatic ring bearing one phenol or more polyphenol hydroxyl substituent. It is synthesized by two different routes. They are shikimate pathway in plants, acetate melonate pathway in case of fungi and bacteria. Properties of phenolic compounds It is widely distributed secondary metabolite. It is active and passive form of defense. It functions in plant as structure, protection and interaction with biotic and abiotic factor. The first of the defense mechanism in plants involves a rapid accumulation of phenols at the infection site. 
The role of phenolic compounds in defense is related to their anti-nutritional, antimicrobial and unpalatable properties. It is environmentally induced and genetically controlled. It is one mean of self-protection. The type of phenol that are implicated in defense differ greatly and depends on plant species. Significance of phenolic compounds UV sunscreen Signal compound Pigmentation Plant growth And lastly, plant defense Classes of Phenolics Occurrence of Phenolics They are usually found as esters or glycosides rather than as free compounds. Polyphenols accumulate in central vacuoles of gourd cells, epidermal cells and sub-epidermal cells of leaves and shoots. Some are found covalently linked to the plant cell wall and some found in waxes or on the external surface of the plant organs. Biosynthesis of phenolic compounds occurs at various sites in plant cells such as chloroplast and endoplasmic reticulum membrane. Important Enzymes Polyphenol oxidases It oxidizes phenol to quinones and it has bactericidal and fungicidal property. Peroxidases It increases the polymerization of the phenols into lignins which is a complex phenol. Phenylalanine ammonia lyase it is a key enzyme for the synthesis of phenols, phytoalexins and other defense related chemicals. Phytoanticipants These are the low molecular weight antimicrobial compounds that are present in plant before infection by microorganisms or produced after infection solely from pre-existing constituents. Preformed phenolics Catechol and protoketochoic acid found in onion plant is effective against onion smudge caused by colletotrichum cisinans. Benzaldehyde in potato plant controls botrytis cinerea which causes grey mold rot in potato. Proanthocyanidins in barley plant controls fusarium species. 5-pentadecyl resorcinol in mango is effective against alternaria alternata. Chlorogenic acid in peach controls monilinea fruticola which causes brown rot of peach.